the best buds. Remember we did the science fair project? Come on. So we're walking down. He's crying, right? I, I, I nailed him he with was the pop crying? can right in the head. Dude, I smoked him in the head with the pop can. You little bitch. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to the very special episode 50 of the Scruffcast. I'm Dan. And I'm John. And today, we are bringing you nothing special, just a regular podcast. Just us. That's it. Just going to do our normal thing. But you know what? I like to think that the listeners, they think that we're special. But you know what? We shouldn't We shouldn't celebrate 50 like it's a big achievement. You know what I mean? Yeah, we should have been at 50 like months ago. We should have, yeah. But, like, you know, it's just 50, you know? Maybe we get to 100 or 1,000, you know? Then we celebrate those. 1,000. How long is that going to take us? Like 20 years. 50 episodes no. a year. We give ourselves two weeks off. Oh, my God. Oh, we're never going to make it to 1,000. I don't know if there's any podcasts out there that have made it to 1,000. Joe Rogan's Actually, past Actually, that's 1, true, but he doesn't do it weekly. No. He does a couple a week. Yeah. If you did a couple a week, did you cut that down? I'd say Bill Burr's probably up there, too. He's been doing it for, like, a good He's 10 years. He's been doing two a week. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. Either way. Oh, we're not making see- it there. I'm going to confirm that right now. In 20 no. years, we're not doing this podcast. In 20 years, we're almost going to be 50. Dan, don't let the listeners know how old we are. And almost 50, we're going to be doing the podcast? God, I hope not. Nah, dude, nobody will want to listen to us. They're going to want to listen to the people who are young and hip. Half the people listening to us are going to be dead by that point <laughs> anyway. We're a podcast for seniors here. That's what we are. We go with the times, right? So when we're old, we're going to talk. Yeah. Dude, actually. They just like the noise in the background, you know? It's like for old people, you put on City Pulse 24. And they just like. And it just loops. Like the sounds and the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's like a new story for them every half hour because they forget what happened. Yeah, they forget. Yeah. They'd be like, I wish I had the ability to forget about movies I've already watched. (laughs) I know. My my dad has that ability. Like, oh, I watched this movie. Oh, this is fantastic. I forgot all about it. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, so I watched this movie the other day. Whatever. I'm like, yeah, we watched that together like a year ago. He's like, oh, did we? Yeah. Dude, that'd be awesome. You just. Snap yeah, your fingers, know. forget? It would be, because you watch movies over and over. But you know what? I think uh, moving into like the senior market would be perfect for us, because as we get older, inevitably, more things will bother us. Yeah. So we'll never run out of content. That's true. It's and gonna the people be listening would love it. Yeah. Because <clears throat> they also have lots young, of Young about people it. will listen to us, and they'll just roast us. Yeah. And the old people will listen to us, and they'll relate. They'll respect us. Yeah. Those John and Dad, and they're straight shooters. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, so we we'll get into the question of Potter from last week. Yes, so every week we leave you with a question to ponder, 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 which, as it might sound, is a question to ponder with the week break, Duh. right? So last week's question to ponder, which was sent to us by a listener, was if you could bring back one food item, snacks or beverage, back from your childhood, what would you choose? Now... We did have a listener write in with their answer to the question. Would we like to take their answer first? Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's do theirs before we get into ours. A listener wrote in to scruffcast at gmail.com with a subject line question to ponder slash possible topic. Hey, Jonathan and Daniel. Very formal. Very formal. Normally we're John and Dan. But that's okay. Jonathan and Daniel. I have two answers to the question to ponder. Not too sure if you guys will remember the first one. I used to love those swoops, chocolate-shaped chips. They were so good. I also loved those jugs of powdered bubble gum. Those hands down make me think of late 90s. Now, uh, yes. when she first, uh, sorry, when this listener first said those swoops, I didn't know what they were talking about until uh, they attached a picture. Yes, when I saw listener, the picture, then I knew, but I never had those as a kid. Yeah, listeners, had them. this listener is raising the bar. They sent us an email with their answers for the question to ponder provided a new question to ponder which we'll get to later and they even attached images of what they're talking about yeah you guys got to step it up if you want to compete that's right if you don't want to compete you don't need to step it up at all i'm just saying if you want to compete if you want to compete there you go um yeah you, you weren't familiar with these uh no not at first until i saw the picture and they're kind of familiar i never had them though it just makes me think like why would i want to eat my chocolate and chip form Right, comes they, in they look pack. like Pringles. That's what they look like. Yeah, they're so for listeners who might be unfamiliar, it's uh, literally just like chocolate chips in the shape of Pringles. 
And it looks like the based on the picture they attached, they Reese's. are Reese flavored. Reese swoops. With I a bet you those would be delicious. Drizzle. But like you get six of them in a little pack, which I was thinking like that's not much. But that's as I think enough. about it, that might be you know a fair amount. Good if snack you, If you size. stack them up, it'd be yeah. a thick piece of chocolate. That's but. true. Yeah. Okay. Move on. All right. Um, I used to love those swoops. Oh, and they also mentioned the powdered bubble gum. Now, this is definitely not one that I would pick to bring back, but had to mention the fact that back then they thought it was a great idea to create colored ketchup. I, re- I do remember that. And I remember this too. Yeah. Heinz, easy squirt, funky purple is the name of the color, and blazing green. Eesh. Same great taste, just a funky color. That's what it says on the box or on the on the bottle I, I never i never like i never tried those either but i remember we went over to like a family friend's house yeah and uh and you know i was i had to be at the little kids table outside in the backyard and they had those they were having like hot dogs or whatever and i was like what the hell is that like i was <laughs> i remember just getting what the hell i don't want that on my hot dog it, it's strange Give me the because red stuff. why would they be changing the color of ketchup probably just to market to kids yeah but kids are so picky that they'll be put off yeah, I know. You're going to tell them it's Why ketchup. Why do you make green ketchup? Relish is already green. Yeah, like you're going to tell them people. it's ketchup. It's just a different color, and kids are going to be like, eh. Mm. Like, they're picky like that. So when my brother was younger, uh, he, maybe, he was maybe like five, five years, four or five around this time, um, my mom had actually accidentally bought um, like all beef hot dogs instead of like the regular red hots or whatever it was. Yeah. And they were a slightly darker color yeah, yeah. than the regular hot dogs. Yeah. And my brother used to love eating raw hot dogs. <laughs> and my mom went to go take the hot dogs out of the fridge. She's like, ew, I can't eat those. Those are for Spanish people. <laughs> because it was a darker tone. Oh, and I remember God. just dying laughing. Right? And, like, kids are just weird that way. Yeah. Right? So you tell them, like, oh, here, it's ketchup. It's just green. They're going to be, ew. Ew, ew. that's not ketchup. Right? Ketchup's red. So I, I, I do remember uh, trying them once as a kid. And it was, like, a similar scenario. It was somewhere else. Like, somebody else had it. Like, dip a fry in there. I was like, ew. Yeah, it's weird. Even though it tastes the same, but just that psychological yeah, Eating's a visual thing, too, you know? Yeah. It's a, it's like all the senses. So if you know something that doesn't look good, doesn't smell good, it's not going to taste good. Yeah. It, no matter it, how it, good it, really it tastes, does. you know? The only sense, I guess, it doesn't make as big an impact is uh, your hearing. But if yeah. somebody's chewing loud, that can affect your That's meal. True. I don't deal with loud chewers. In, in Polish, they call it uh, nichumkai. <laughs> that sounds... That means sounds like awesome. you're chewing like a cow. Really? Yeah. So what, you're just eating? I think it just means like, like, yeah, is like, no. Like, no, like, I don't know. Don't don't chew with your mouth open. I think that's pretty yeah. much what it, uh, what it means. Nichumkai. It's, it's something like that. Uh, are you familiar with this bubble jug of bubble gum here? Yes. I don't remember this one. Yeah, I do. It was like a, it was almost like a, almost like a powder. It was like very tiny little like balls almost. Yeah. And then you just like pour it into your mouth, you chew it, and then it creates gum. I do remember that. that. Sounds interesting. I wonder if they still make them. Yeah, I don't know. We have to look into that. Look on Amazon. You can find everything on there. Probably. I love Amazon. Amazon's great. Okay. Before we get to the rest of this, um, uh, email. Let's uh, let's give our answers. Yes, because the email did go on with some other stuff. Okay. You go first. So, I couldn't think of too many things that maybe aren't around anymore that were around when I was a kid, or I guess when we were kids. But one thing I, I used to love as a kid that I'm sure they probably still make, but I'm I haven't eaten them in yeah. years and years, is you would get those little Ritz packs, where it's like the little bread sticks and the little cheese and you would dip the breadstick in the cheese oh yeah, Do you yeah. Remember they had it with peanut butter too I had with peanut butter but I like the cheese one yeah. or sometimes you could get it with the crackers the long crackers that come with the little red sticks what's what's a little cheese without a few crackers yeah with a little cheese without a couple of crackers <laughs> right and uh, it was always like a it was always a tricky balance right the art of the Ritz cracker and cheese like material because you couldn't right? you couldn't down the cheese in three little cracker sticks no because you then you'd be left out. with no cheese yeah. and then you're just like some scraping dry ass on plastic yeah, yeah you're eating some dry you're coughing up a lung over there yeah right so that's one of the things that sticks out in my mind i never uh, thought of those that's a good one for me i i chose a beverage 
Ooh. And now I Google this beverage and it still does exist in the States. Okay. Which is unsurprising. But that's another thing that we can even talk about too, because living in Canada, you didn't always yeah. get the cool stuff you got to see on TV. It's not as bad anymore, but Yeah, I have a good example of this. Okay. Well you. yeah, same thing. Anyway, it was mellow yellow. Ooh. Oh my god, I loved mellow yellow. Which was like essentially just Mountain Dew. That's pretty much what it was. But I, it it's mellow yellow sounds cool. Mellow, mellow yellow. Dew. Oh my god! It was here for like I don't know, two three years maybe. Then that was it. So I googled it, and sure enough, it still is in the states. Do you, like it's made by Pepsi. Oh really? Yeah, um, but it's not here in Canada anymore. I don't think. But I loved Mellow Yellow as a kid, and I love Mountain Dew now. So. Do you remember uh, when they brought out like Vanilla Coke in Canada, yeah. which had existed in the states for a while at that point? Yeah, I remember. I, I remember. I loved it, and then it disappeared. I think it's back again now. I'm not sure. I don't know if it is because like you can get it in convenience stores sometimes the bottles, but if you yeah. look on the bottles, it has like it's in ounces, uh, so it's still so American. Maybe, maybe they import them. Yeah, it's I still know they American. do like cherry coke, cherry coke, coke too. Yeah. yeah. Back Ice in the day, though, it would be you would get your your pop right if you went to like a fast food place or something. Wouldn't it be you'd get it and then you'd have like a cherry syrup you'd mix in there. I feel like somebody told me. Oh, that I don't, I don't remember that. I don't know. Older listeners, write in last night. <laughs> I know you're out there. Okay, taking a break from crunching the numbers in Excel. Let us know. But I remember there was like, like living in Canada, there was like a lot of stuff. Like all the commercials on the TV were like always American, right? Yeah. Like I said, it's not that bad anymore, right? <clears throat> but back then, like everything, like you couldn't get here, or like when it came here, it was like a huge deal, right? As a kid, I think I might have been like somewhere between three and five years old. I went uh, to visit. Uh, my mom has an an aunt who lives in Massachusetts, and I remember I went to visit. And it was there that I discovered Cookie Crisp, which oh, is basically yeah, cereal. eating little chocolate chip cookies as cereal for breakfast. Yeah, which I was like, I was just enamored with Cookie Crisp. I was like, this is amazing. Yeah, and then just eating cookies. Ca- yeah. Right, and then came back to Canada, and they didn't have it here. And I was like, "What?" It was the worst. I don't <laughs> Why remember. Do we have any- to live here? Yeah, well, I remember we bought some boxes to bring back with us. Yeah, and then anytime someone had went over, I did that not that States. long ago, actually. Well, really? you know, I guess it was a while. It was a while ago now. What cookie crisp? Yeah, yeah. Me and uh, our other our other special guest Anthony. Yes, we were in Niagara Falls, and I had to drop my sister's friend off in Buffalo at the airport. On our way back, we stopped at a uh, grocery store and bought some cookie crisp. Smuggled the back end like contraband. Smuggled the back end. Take that. But I mean, so delicious. How could you not? To be fair, I haven't eaten in a long time. But as a kid, I remember I just loved yeah, it. Yeah, it's a little much now. I think. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Even like, what is that? I think it's tricks they don't have here anymore. Um, no, no, they, like- they they do still make tricks because. Um, my sister's vegan, and she actually, that's like her favorite breakfast cereal, and she bought it a while ago thinking it was vegan, and then looked, and there's like some slight little ingredient that's like not really vegan. Probably egg? No, it was like some chemical or something, so like she'd still be able to eat it and like wouldn't get sick because like she's been vegan for like a while now, and like if you go that long, right, if you have any milk or eggs or whatever, like you're going to get sick. Yeah. Um, so she was like, oh, do I eat it so good, but what about the ethical implications? I don't know if she ended up eating it or not, but um, so they still make it. Huh. I think. How long has she been actually for? Uh, over a year now, two years. Wow. A year and a bit at least. I think it was like slowly in phase. First she was vegetarian, right, and then like she would still eat like fish. Like what's that? Like piscatarian? <clears throat> piscatarian? I don't know. Whatever it is, she's Jay. probably listening, going <laughs> right now. But <laughs> that's dedication um, to a cause. I don't think I'm that dedicated to anything. Me either. But actually, now that I think about it, maybe you're right. Maybe they don't have tricks here. Well, if she's listening, write in and tell us, I guess. I don't yeah, know true. We could Google it. I, th- I thought they took it away because it was it. like, because I think Canada has like kind of codes that it follows for like, especially breakfast cereals, right? That like it can't contain a certain amount of sugar, right? You know what? And that like exceeded the level. You know what? That's where it's like, this isn't cereal. This is candy. You like, know what? That's lame. <laughs> no, but I think it's important because you're, no, no, you're no. advertising it to kids. Yeah, but kids don't go to the grocery store and buy it. Yeah, that's also true. You just whoopsh, you smack your kid with some cornflakes and say, "Eat this instead." Back in my day, we had to harvest the corn ourselves. You know what cereal is good is um, honey bunches of oats. Holy I've never been shit! A huge fan. I can't get enough of it. 
It's so good. I remember the first time I had it. Again, our uh, our other special guest, Kalon, we went up to his family's cottage, and uh, we did some grocery shopping, and he bought a box of that, and I was like, dude, what are you doing? That's like, it's old man cereal. Dude. Yeah, it's, what it are you doing? Like an old let's, get some, let's get some frosted flakes or something, you know? And so one morning I woke up, and everybody else still asleep, so I was like, I'm going to make some breakfast. So I saw that box, I was like, yeah, I'll give this a try, and I've just been hooked on it ever since. Really? It's so tasty. So if you could only eat one breakfast cereal for the rest of your life, yeah, that'd be the cereal? Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's a tough choice. I think I'd go with... Maybe I'd just go with Fruit Loops, the classic. Yeah, Fruit Loops are good. Dude, Honey Punches of Oats, man. You gotta try it. It'll change you your mornings. Try. It'll change my mornings. Well, right now my mornings consist of getting up and then five minutes later scrambling out of the door. I gotta catch the bus. <laughs> Wake up, give yourself another 10 minutes and have yourself a nice bowl of Honey Bunches of Oats. On sale at No Frills for two ninety seven. Are they? Maybe I'll go go get them. There you go. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know if there's a No Frills around here. Anybody who isn't uh, interested in our morning routines or breakfast cereals <laughs> probably tuned out by now. That's okay. Um, I felt like there was another another thing I was saying before when I was before I started talking about the vegan thing. Yeah, I kind of cut you off with that. About things we can't get here. I don't remember. Oh well, because it wasn't that important. I remember when they brought Krispy Kreme donuts out here. Oh yeah, and it which was like, th- those were all the rage for, for like a year, and yeah. now nobody cares about it anymore. They're still delicious, but they're yeah, they're still terrible, really good. They're terrible but, for you. Yeah. They're so bad. But you know what? So good. This is like kind of this is unrelated to the food thing, but hey, dude, it's our podcast. We talk about whatever the hell we want. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, I remember when I was a kid, uh, we only had Mac computers at home. Yeah, and. Um, which is kind of weird at the time. Yeah, because my dad worked for an advertising agency, and I think it was like the agency bought all the computers. So then when they got new ones, they were allowed to take their old ones home. Yeah. Like, that's what it was. So the computers were only like a year or two old at the time, whatever it was. And uh, so that was like our family computers were always Macs. They were always those, right? So like back when we were like 10, 11, and like, you know, MSN starting to come out and stuff like that, it was really hard to like find MSNs for Macs. Yeah, they didn't make uh, like the or Mac- like the stuff the PC MSNs could do, the Mac ones couldn't do. Like, yeah, stuff like that, right? And like I remember, it just sucks so much as a kid. Now it's like PC Mac doesn't even matter anymore. You can get everything on everything. Yeah, for, but back then, man, it was a struggle. For anyone out there who, I guess, is you know older or maybe younger, because <clears throat> we were kind of like perfectly in that age gap. Yeah, MSN was like this. It was like a chat application you'd install on your computer and you have your friends list and everything yeah right um i, I listened to a podcast just like a kind of kind of related but listen to a podcast and they we're talking about the early days of the internet right and uh talking a lot about like aim like aol instant messenger and stuff right yeah and they were they talked a little bit about msn and said it seemed like it was more of like a predominantly like canadian thing or like an ontario thing really like everybody that they knew that ever used it or talked about it was from ontario <laughs> And that's I was like, well, that's interesting because, yeah, we're from Ontario. And yeah, that's we, what we, we use. So I, I wonder. I remember the very first one. Like, I didn't really use, but my sister used it at the time. It was ICQ. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. Is it IQC. I don't I think remember. It was ICQ. 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 Yeah. Uh-oh. That was a little notification. Uh-oh. Really? Yeah, it was something like that. Maybe we can uh, find that sample and put it into this over top of my voice when I did that. Maybe. <laughs> I, I just put it over there. Nothing one. came out. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, something like that. You know what? I, like, how did they get those sound effects? Is it like one person did it and then they put it in, and then millions of people around the world heard the message? Maybe heard the message sound. Yeah, maybe. And this person. Know. Oh man! Imagine you got paid royalties, like a penny for everyone. Oh my god! Every time someone gets a message, yeah, ten cents. We're gonna get a copyright <laughs> notice on YouTube because they still own the rights. I know. And you just did it too close to the actual sound. You owe us 30 cents. You did the noise three times. That put us God in debt. Damn it. We're making no money on this podcast. Yeah, seriously. Um, well, actually, we spent money. We just recently made a purchase to put the final touches on our soon-to-be-opened re- podcast studio. I am pretty excited about it. Yeah, listeners. It took us 50 episodes, appreciate but we finally it, did it, you know? Yeah. So you next know, week, we should on the be back. in there. Should be in the new studio. Maybe maybe when things are spruced up, we can give you an MTV Crib-style tour featuring my betta fish, Akko. He yeah. lives in the studio. He does live in the studio. 
There's Ooh. also more to this. Uh, yes, back to the listener email. This email. This email is just going to be the start of the show, I think. Yeah. Um, so uh, I will say that the listener also did give us a question to ponder, which we'll save for the end. Way to go, listener. Really, yeah. really putting in the work. All right. Um, you can continue with what the listener said next. Okay, so the next thing they say was, do you guys have any more crazy slash funny stories from when you guys were in school? So we talked a little bit before uh, the podcast. We came up with a few different ones. Um, obviously, there's a lot that cannot be told on the podcast. Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely not. So many bad things. Yeah, we're what you'd call classic uh, bad boys. Yep. Yeah. Um, like the movie with Martin Lawrence and uh, Will Smith. All right, let's. Let, okay, well, first off, you can tell your pop can story. Sure. So, uh, listeners may already be familiar with uh, our good friend Kalon, who um, we went to visit last year in Chicago and has written in a few times, and we've just been roasting him recently. You may remember we just laughed for 15 seconds, like straight on the podcast last week, <clears throat> talking about traveling with him. And uh, He's also been on the show. And he's been on the show, yes. He was on episode, I don't remember the number, but it was called Spreading the Good Turd. Great Go check episode. it out if you haven't. Go check it out. And uh, anyway, so we've known Kalon for for years and years. We went to elementary school with him, which is uh, how the four of us met. Me, you, our special guest, Kalon, other special guest, Anthony. We yeah. all met in elementary school. So I believe it was in the sixth grade. And we were having lunch, as you do at your desks. And uh, not that I, you know, I was a talkative kid, right? But so was Kalon. And the one lunch in particular, and I was kind of a douche as a kid. Like, I'm not, as the story will clearly, you know, give evidence to. <laughs> and Kalon was talking, talking about something to somebody else or whatever. I don't remember. But I just remember being like, Kalon, like, stop talking. If you don't shut up, I'm going to throw this pop can at your head. And, you know, he keeps talking and talking and talking. And the absolute mad lad, myself, <laughs> I threw that pop can square at his head. Okay, and there, I remember his Fruitopia, and there's still Fruitopia in the can. He's probably mortified we're telling the story on the podcast. Yeah, no. And we could just we could have just told the story without giving a name, but <laughs> we decided to give the name. But but uh, didn't did, even think. Did about I it. mention his name, or did you mention his name? You did. I Whatever. I don't, I don't remember. Gmail dot com. If you have uh, words with us, that's right. But um, anyway, the story makes me sound worse than him. It does. But he wouldn't stop talking, You're and I tossed a pop. Uh, yeah, I was kind of a douche. I tossed a pop can at his head, hit him square on the side of the head, and then Fruitopia. I'm because there was Fruitopia still in it. Like came out of the pop can was like the side of his head was kind of like pink from the Fruitopia, <laughs> or, like in his hair and stuff. And he looked at me with just anger in his eyes. As I don't blame him because this was like so mean of me to as do. As we've seen this look many times since, <laughs> we we sure have. We're usually the cause of it, <laughs> almost every time. And he, he said, burn in hell, Jonathan. He called me by my full name. I was like, burn in hell, Jonathan. Yeah, I tried to be nice and not even do the voice. But no, because like, you're 12 years old. Of yeah, course yeah. your voice is going to sound yeah, like that. I'm not saying he sounds like that right, now. Now he's more like, burn in hell. Hello, I'm Kalon. Yeah. So, how many hop, hop, hop. Um, burn the, in hell, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> so then the teacher on duty said, uh, you know, what the hell? Right, uh, you know, go down to the office. So I proceed to go down to the office. Oh, I didn't know this part of the story. Oh yeah, I, mean, I probably told you this. Okay, continue. world premiere of the story. All right. So we're walking there, and then me, the little sneaky snake, is like, "Come on, Kaylin, I'm sorry. Don't get me in trouble, please. Come <laughs> on, come on. We're best buds. Remember, we did the science fair project. Come on." So we're walking down. He's crying. Right, I, I, I nailed him. He with was the pop crying can right in the head, dude. I smoked him in the head with the pop can. You little bitch. <laughs> and, I, and I wasn't that far away from him. And, mm-hmm. you know, I've got a cannon of an arm. If I didn't, you know, mess up my knee, I probably would have got that baseball scholarship <laughs> years ago. But that's neither <laughs> didn't here nor there. have Tommy John surgery when I was 12. I yeah, it's neither on. here nor there. That pop they call, can they call me my career. The Portuguese Mark McGuire. Right? They loved me. <laughs> right, little Portugal. Every, they would play my mini league games on TV. <laughs> João. That's what they call me. Anyways. Yeah, continue. Um... So I'm like, come on, don't get me in trouble, please, please. So we, we get to the office, okay? And it was uh, like two older students, because I think we were in like grade six at the time, or maybe grade five, I don't remember. Right. And 
there was two like grade eight students like girls sitting uh, at the office like manning the desks which now that i think about it, it's kind of weird that the, like the school would just like let the kids run the desks it's free labor office, but yeah so we get there and uh you know he proceeds to tell the girls like uh, they're like oh what's wrong and he's because you know he's upset and um still look, they're looking all guilty yeah right and he's got fruitopia in his hair yeah and um he's like i got hit in the head and they look at him and they're like mm, okay <laughs> he's like w- with the pop can he's like <laughs> okay which is like a so such a bizarre story right so yes he goes in there and i think if you got hit in the head or you hurt yourself or whatever in the head you had to fill out some form or something back in the day i don't remember but right um so he had to fill something out or whatever. They gave him ice for his head, and we go back to the the thing. And he didn't mention, oh, this kid squared me in the head with the he pop He did? Hair. No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't? No. That's why we're still friends. Damn, Kalon. <laughs> so we go back to the class. That, that, is, a, that is a veteran move, Kalon. That's a veteran move. You know what wow. happens when you have Impressive. a veteran Impressive. So then we go back to the class, and the teacher, I'm going to put her on blast, Miss Turner, or Mrs. Oh, Turner. Oh, Miss Turner. Yeah, she, we don't like her. Miss Turner made her classes do Irish dancing for Jim. <laughs> Kalon also participated in that. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we go back to the class, and then the teacher had that smug look of like, uh-huh, you probably just got in so much trouble. And you're like, uh-huh, no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was probably like a little smug about it. I was, a yeah, for sure. I was like, nope. And she's like, what? She was in, like, disbelief. <laughs> and that was the day Kalon came in the clutch, and that's why he's the homie to this day. All right. There we go. That's pretty, pretty uh, dick move, I mean. All right. How about we tell a story about Anthony next? Sure. Then or those are, guess. These are the stories we can tell. <laughs> yeah, these ones aren't <laughs> as bad. And I apologize for anyone who's hearing me sniffling. Like, I've been fine all day, and all of a sudden now my nose is, like, stuffed up. When we talk about treating Kalon poorly, he gets it just makes little, me so he, sad. He gets a little emotional. Um, All right. You want to take the next story? Yeah, so uh, we first met Anthony, our other guest on the show. Uh, grade 7, he moved to our school. And um, I think you guys kind of became friends a little earlier because you guys walked in the same... Yeah, we lived on the, the same, same street. Um, but me and him, like, I don't know. I, we didn't really get a Not that we didn't get along, but I remember not really liking him. I don't think he really liked me much. He had a little rough transition. He wouldn't stop talking. I mean, like, as kids, none of us ever shut up. But, like, you know, he was the new kid, right? So, as kids, you're just mean. So, we put him, like, yeah. the, the teacher moved his desk to the corner. We all called him Corner Boy. Yeah. Oh, I forgot <laughs> about that. Yeah. So, yeah, he was kind of like the weird kid, the new kid, right? And so, and, like, there was a big group of us that were kind of, like, friends. And we'd, like, we'd play road hockey and stuff like that, right? So, obviously, he wanted to be a part of that group. And he just was resilient. Like, he wouldn't leave us alone ever. Um... So one day, um, we were at, we were outside of my house, like my parents' house, and they had this old car in the garage, which I don't even think it ran, but it just sat in there. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, I, like on the garage door key that I would use to like open the garage to get all the hot equipment out, it had the car key on it. And so I was also able to find like a second car key. So I had two car keys for this garage, not for like the actual key in the ignition for like the door. Cause back then there was like two separate keys. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was an old car. Yeah, it was, yeah. So I had two, like, door keys or trunk keys or whatever, right? So we told Anthony, uh, as, like, initiation, if he wanted to hang out with us, he had to uh, go in the trunk, and and uh, and we would close it on him. So yeah. he wanted to be part of the, you know, the he wanted to be part of the group, so he said, okay, I'll do it. So he hopped in the trunk. But only <clears throat> if I also went in the trunk, because he didn't want to be alone. Right? He's like, I'm not going in the trunk. Only if John comes in the trunk. As if you're both going to fit in the trunk of a car. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, I wasn't that pudgy as a kid. Um, So, but you didn't go. No. Don't you remember what happened? We're like, okay, okay. We both get in. He gets in the trunk first, and then I go to sit in the trunk. And then it's like, quick. And then I Oh, is that what happened, too? Yes, you don't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So, yeah, you did the old switcheroo on him. Didn't go in. Yeah, I proceeded to pretend I'm getting in, and then I slip out. And then we threw the key that opens the trunk into the car with him so yeah. he could see it. But little did he know we had a spare key. Yeah. And then we slammed the trunk down and then we slammed the garage door shut. A- as if, like, he would be able to see out of the trunk. I know. And uh, and he'll tell you otherwise. But this did happen. I'm going to put him on blast <laughs> right now. Because, again, I know he doesn't listen to this, so it doesn't matter. Um, so me and another friend 
uh, like quietly were in the garage just out front of the trunk, like listening to him. All we hear is like, guys, guys. <laughs> and little bitch started crying in the trunk of the car. Man, that was, I hope he listens to this. I, one. I hope funny. he does eventually listen. But you know, I can't really blame him. All these years later, that was pretty mean. That was mean. <laughs> Apparently, too, I didn't know this. I think my parents uh, told me this because, like, they they talk with his parents and stuff now, right? But apparently, when it first happened, he went home, and uh, his mom asked how his day was. Oh, how was your day? He's like, good. He's like, my friends locked me in the trunk of a car. And she's like, Anthony, I don't think they're your friends. <laughs> Just like, uh, you like, know what? Like, I don't as, think those as, a, your friends, as a man. parent, I would think the same thing. I know. Right? Pretty funny. Man, that's the sort of stuff that if it happens now. And, man, these are the stories we cut for the podcast. If, if that's the sort of stuff that happens now, I feel like it'd be, you know, you'd get suspended from school, or it'd be like a big deal. Yeah, a parent would try to sue another that, parent. Yeah. Oh, for sure, yeah. But I remember back then too. We won't get into it too much, but we ended up we ended up becoming friends, all of us, afterwards. Yeah, well, I mean, we're all great friends. That was now. it. He was Once he, he got in the podcast. trunk and he was initiated, and then he was yeah. allowed to be friends with us. That's there where he we went. Um, we always used to film like videos too, all, like the three of us, mostly me and Anthony. Uh, uh, I'd like to call it, like sketch comedy. Yeah, when almost. we were really young, we had like, like my... we were doing YouTube before there was YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, before there was YouTube, we were just making videos and and uh, making stupid videos, which will never see the light of day. Never. 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 Never, never. Because the world can't appreciate the greatness no. of these videos. Um, um, that's you you, spend you a lot got the spring time. fling story, too. Uh, yes, so we used to do so at our school they called it the spring fling but it was just you know like a spring concert type thing right that each class would like put on a show or a performance or whatever and now i think about it, it's like what i don't know what a waste it was kind of weird thinking about it now right like right like what's the point weird thing to do yeah right so was it i can't remember what grade it was i think it was grade seven it was grade eight it was grade eight. Oh, it was grade eight because we had the split class ah yes yes i will tell my side of the story <laughs> after this <laughs> we're in a grade seven eight split and, we were grade eight. Uh, we were we were the grade eights, and um, so we did two different productions. One, three, three. We did three productions. Three. Well, the third one wasn't very. Want me to tell the story? I forgot all about it. Yeah, you tell the story. This one, the, this one digs deep. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll tell the story. So, first off, the teacher we had was a bitch. That's number one. <laughs> um, so she like, blast. and it was it was always the teachers. Well, sometimes the teachers would be like, "Hey guys, what do you want to do?" And then we kind of whatever, right? This teacher decided she wanted to do her own thing. So she wanted to do like kind of Broadway uh, musical stuff, right? Yeah. So she's like, we're going to do um, Annie, like Hard Knock oh, Life. I forgot about that. Yeah, one. yeah. Uh, Mamma Mia. Yeah. F- um, like the song Mamma Mia. And then New York, New York. Yes. Uh, the song New York, New York. So she split the class up into three sections, right? So keep in mind, there was uh, 20 grade eights, which was our grade, and 10 grade sevens. So there's like, way more on us than them. Um so all the girls, like the grade eight girls and stuff, got to do Annie. <clears throat> all the grade eight guys got to do got to do New York, New York, which was like you know all of us, yeah, um, grade eight guys. Except I got stuck doing Mamma Mia <laughs> with all the grade sevens for some odd reason. So she put like you name it, Anthony, John, all all you guys were in New York, New York. You got to have these cool top hats on. And like yeah. you know, just do a little footstep. I, I got to do, do the, I got do, to do the do, opening do, number. Do do do, yeah. Okay. And I was stuck like doing this little gay sway dance, like Mamma Mia, here I go again. Oh my god, it was so gay. <laughs> I, I wish we <laughs> recorded these podcasts. Danny just swiveled this chair. I, back yeah, and forth. I did the swivel. Like it was, ugh, that was the worst. And I had to slide on my knees at one point. I remember how much it hurt too, and she just didn't care. Slide on your goddamn knees. That's what she said to us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think so. Probably not. But I didn't like her. Well, I didn't really have too too many bad things to say about this teacher in particular because I remember at the end of the year we were cleaning up the classroom. Which now that I think about it, it's like, okay, kids, clean up the class and do my work for me. Yeah, seriously. We're like taking stuff off the walls and stuff. But it was Teachers, satisfying right? as a kid because you're like, yeah, we get to take this stuff away from the school, take yeah, it down. It's school ours sucks. now. So uh, she asked us to bring some things down to her car, which now that I think about it as well is kind of strange. Wasn't this Miss Hawkins? No, no. This was Miss uh, Barnett. This was in grade eight. Miss Barnett. We had to bring stuff to her car. She was yeah. probably stealing stuff from the school and we were accessories. <laughs> Maybe. But anyway. we were bringing stuff down, and uh, w- one thing we brought down was a sombrero, which was from Mexico. Like, I guess she went on a trip and brought a sombrero to the school or whatever. And I said, 
oh does this have to go too <clears throat> right or like oh do you want us to bring this down and she thought i said can i keep this and she said yes so then i got to keep that sombrero do you still have it <laughs> I brought it to my dad's a long time ago. Oh. So I had it for a couple of years after, afterwards. Uh, it's probably a bit long long lost now. Probably end up at a value village and somebody else bought it. Some homeless guy now is wearing yeah. that sombrero, which actually came from Mexico, and he never knows. Unless he listens to the podcast. True. So, yeah, that's those are some funny stories. I don't know, that's all we can really think of now. Unless we do a, a uh, scruff cast after dark. Yeah, that that made it sound pretty gay. <laughs> That's not; those aren't the kind of stories we we're going to be telling. No, it, it was you know not like that. Like After Dark, like HBO, like Game of Thrones, like too gritty. Yeah, 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 yeah. gritty. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> It'd be good if we could get like all our special guests back. When I say all; it's only been two. We yeah. had like a flashback episode. How the scruffs came to be. I don't imagine anybody would really find that interesting, though. No, Except probably not. Us. Just us Just who us. are doing it. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, you're stuck in there this long, so whatever. But speaking about them, we did travel to Fredericton. We did. Fredericton, New Brunswick. The capital of New Brunswick. Fine city Over- filled with white people and natives. Yeah, overwhelmingly white and native population. Yeah. Um... Yeah, there's not too much noteworthy about Fredericton. I mean, I remember when we came back from Chicago, we had like, I think we had stories. Oh, we did this, we did that. We could have done a whole episode. Fredericton, we we did nothing. Well, we went. To, we did an escape room, which we could have done here. Which we could Which have. was a blast. I had a lot of fun doing that. We it's escaped. not that we didn't have fun in Fredericton. We had lots of fun. But it was just hanging out, you know, watching the hockey, eating pizza, having a few drinks. Eating the Donair. Eating the Donair. We tried a Donair. It was, it was okay. a good time. It was a it good was time. Right. I will say the uh, the tap water out there tastes a little different. It smells a little funny too. Yeah. Hey, I don't know what that was about. I he said like, the water's very hard. Yeah, I, f- I feel like if you if you grew up drinking that water, eh, I don't know. I don't yeah. know if you turn out all right. Yeah, that's why they all end up speaking that weird language. I think they call it French. <laughs> But you know what? I bet they, they come out here and they think we're all bougie. Oh, you guys have Brita filters. As they should. Aren't you so fancy? <laughs> and yeah, we are fancy. Yeah. It's goddamn $30. Go get yourself one. So you're not drinking this nasty-ass water. Yeah. It smells I've, like sulfur. Yeah, there's not really much um, much to say about the trip. It was we, a good time. Uh, we it was flew. a good time. The planes did not crash. We are still here. Always we, uh, a concern of mine. Busted up the Nintendo Switch on the way back. Played some Mario Party. Fun time. Where Dan swept the floor with uh, me and the computers. As I normally do. Um, it was a fun time, yeah. Speaking of that flight, so before the flight, um, we were, like, right before we left, we are watching the Masters coverage of golf. We're going to get yes. into a little golf talk now. For anyone who doesn't care, you could probably shut this off for the next five minutes and come back, which is probably 90% of this podcast. Probably, but it's our podcast, so. We do what we want. It's our world. You're just living <clears throat> in it. And sure enough, the goat is back. And I've said this before. We said this on the on this very podcast. I think maybe it was like episode four. Yeah, one of the early episodes. It's like a year ago. He was returning. One year later, the goat is truly back. Tiger Woods back. wins his fifth Masters, his first major tournament victory since two thousand and eight. People thought he was done. <clears throat> At forty three years and old, he wins the Masters. The second oldest Masters winner. Incredible. You know, if Tiger can still find this success at 43, I think we can do the podcast at 50. Could you even really classify this as success? I think Tiger Woods wants to golf at 43. I don't don't want to do the podcast next week. Forget about 50. (laughs) (laughs) Listeners, that's why you need to keep writing in to scruffcast at gmail.com to motivate Keep me entertained here. You know, it was hard to actually convince Dan to come back. I was really in the middle of bits and bites before he bursted into my my, my house. (laughs) John, I'm back. Um, yeah, no, that's. I think that's all we gotta say about that. I mean, I hope everybody didn't actually skip five minutes ahead. Enough, like you know, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Enough, he's yeah. back. For anyone who appreciates golf, they will like that. Do you think this will be his last, or you think now he's just getting started? He's just getting started. 
instead. I think you, he's got another you, major win in him this year. You saw him with that hat backwards while he's walking up to the tee. With the shades on? With the shades that, on. That wasn't actually the picture from this. That's an old picture. Oh, well, he's but that, that's that a funny. Back. That's like a funny meme, though. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it's an old picture. because he was wearing the Sunday red. That's why. Yeah. So it looked the same. But he, he, he's bringing that tiger back. Yeah, I can't wait to watch more. For those who like golf, anyway. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. You know how good at something you have to be to be able to pull off the name Tiger? Yeah, that's the thing. And I don't think... That's not his name. No. No, that's I'm not I'm pretty name. sure. But, like, at I first, don't remember his actual name, but, like... I'm going to look it up right now. You got to be pretty good. Like, I mean, that's the phrase. Like, go get him, Tiger. Yeah, seriously. Right? But he's got that swagger about him, you know? The confidence. He's got the confidence. Eldrick. Eldrick. Tiger's pretty cool compared to Eldrick. Eldrick Taunt Woods. Taunt? Yeah, T-O-N-T. T-O-N-T? Yeah. Taunt. Taunt. I've never heard of it. Eldrick Taunt Woods. Interesting. Very interesting. I think we also talked... Yeah, we also talked about how... uh, He's a controversial, very controversial figure. Polarizing, I guess you could say. He's not polarizing. Well, Who's I went over to my, my, my parents' house last night, and my mom had not so great things to say about him, which she's wrong, but... Am I going to have to get mad at Mama Dan over here? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I know. Well, she, you know... Because that, that's the women's take on it. Oh, he cheated on his wife. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Canceled. Uh, dude, I hate when people use the term I know, canceled. I, I know. I, I figured you would hate, hate that, it. so I threw it in there. Canceled. Oh, that's so canceled. Shut up. You don't get to cancel anything. <laughs> who, who do you think you are? And you're just talking generally here. You're not talking to your mom. No, no, no I'm not talking to my mom. Yes. No, just no, I moved on to Just canceled. making that clear. Yes, thank so if you. So she if she's listening, she's you're right, go, you're right. what the heck? Next thing you know, I'm getting a phone call. You're yeah. canceling me. What's going on? <laughs> Sounds like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's nonsense. Who who are you to think you can cancel stuff? Dude, this this kind of ties into, like, social media as a whole. Yeah. Right? Like, mm, canceled. Shut the... F- oh, my God. Like, like, I hate... Shove it up your ass. Like, I was thinking today, in particular, I was just kind of in a salty mood today. I was tired. I stayed up late to watch Game of Thrones. Uh, because I don't have HBO, like a cheapo, so I had to find it some other way. But, Steal it. I don't know. I, don't know. I Nobody said anything about that. Mm-hmm. But, so I was kind of salty, and I was thinking about, like, I don't know, I was on Twitter or something. It just, it's just like all negativity all the time. People just like to just shit on everything, which I guess that's, is kind of yeah, like what we, do on the, what we do on the podcast. But it's just like, on the we podcast. We do it in good fun. We do it in good fun. It's just our, you know, you're getting one take. On Twitter, man, one person says something stupid and then just gets, you know, dumped on by everybody. Yeah. Like over and over. It's like, pff, nonsense. why do I need this negativity in my life? It's just social you media know? in general. Okay. And we were talking earlier about this too. Like another thing about social media, like Twitter's the the complaint center. That's like what Twitter is. Yeah, the, the whole up, uproar center. The like, whole reason in life you want to get that blue check mark on Twitter is so that if you have a problem with your flight, you can tweet about the airlines and they'll respond. Exactly. That's why you go for it. That's right? the goal for having that's the, blue the blue check mark. Ch- that's the blue check mark does. McDonald's does you wrong. Boom. Dude, but like, can you, you imagine? Know? Like Justin Bieber says, "Oh my God, there was a toenail on my Big Mac." Holy shit, dude! McDonald's stock would drop. Yeah, I know. Eh? <laughs> That's the kind of power with all those believers not yeah. going to McDonald's from then on out. Jesus. But like, you look at like Instagram and Facebook, and this is something we were just talking about earlier. Yeah. Um, and like the oh, well, of course, obviously, it's going to happen. But like, it's all the positive stuff in people's lives that get posted on there, right? So, like, every everyone seems like they have, like, the greatest life. Because, like, nothing bad happens. Nobody posts a picture of themselves, like, sad, like, lost my job today, so sad. Nobody posts that kind of stuff, right? Man, I was expecting to get a healthy tax return, but instead I owe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Like, the real things in life. Nobody posts that kind of stuff. But you know what? Well, some, so, no, you some know what? people do part. because they look for that. the sympathy. Yeah, they're looking for the attention. That's yeah. all it is, right? <clears throat> oh, my God. I can't believe <clears throat> I just got laid off and something. I can't even think of an example. One but. month anniversary of me trying to kill myself. And then That's yeah, a dark one. But like, that, I'm sure somebody does that. But then people you know, comment, you're worth it. Hang in there. Right? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You go, girl. Everyone go. else is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, oh my god. In saying that, 
if you want to find us out there, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Ask yeah. Croftcast. Yeah, if you got complaints, complain about us on there. Go to the Instagram. At See the... all of our good time photos. You See, know what? We, I... we, don't, we don't upload the bad podcasts onto there, you know? All the bad ones. We only if if I'm honest, ones. I haven't updated our Instagram page in many months. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> dude, we're advertising dude, it all dude. the time. You don't, <laughs> dude. You didn't even know that, which goes to show how much you look at the page. <laughs> I don't have Instagram. <laughs> oh, that's true. I don't even have it. But so you technically like officially have the, you know, half I ownership guess. of the Instagram. Listen, or the Scruffcast Instagram. The way the Scruffcast works is like you know, I used to put in a little bit of work. I did. You yeah. know, I did the editing. I did that kind of stuff. You're the social media guy, right? Yeah. Which now you've also taken on the editing, and now I'm just the talent. That's it. <laughs> you show up. I, I got to get a green room here. I even like let you sit in my fancy leather chair, bring you a bottle I'm, of water. I'm the talent, you know. Yeah. And I'll call myself the co-host. That's okay. I'm all right with that. I think you're kind of more the main host of the show. Well, you know, it's it ebbs and it flows, right? You know, even numbers. You got that intro. Odd True. numbers. I got that intro. We do do that. Right? That's the way. Do do. We do do. Do do. On the same wavelength. I think we also said duty earlier in the show, which made me laugh a little bit. Did we? I didn't notice. All right. It's been it's been a it's been a long ride. Fifty episodes. Yeah. I was you know we thought about doing something special for fifty episodes, but we didn't really have much. We decided what what more special than just to listen to us. I like to think every day with John and Dan is a special day. You know, in in two more in two more weeks. We'll hit 52 episodes, and then you guys can listen to one episode every week for an entire year as the repeat, right? Yeah. You know, I never thought we would have made it this far. I was shocked when we got to 10. Me either. Like, shocked. Definitely not. If it wasn't for, like, the the six people out there who were like, what the heck? That's the thing. If we didn't have those six really committed people listening to this, thank you guys, by the way. We appreciate it. Yes, we would be There's no chance we'd be doing this, I don't think. Yeah, because, like, it's, you know, it's fun rambling, but we do this all the time normally just without the work of editing. Exactly. But there's six people who really want to hear about it, so. So if you want us to keep coming back each week with that fire, with that passion... Then you need to tell your friends and get them to listen. That's right. I want that email from somebody who says, hey, I discovered this because my friend Chris told me about the podcast. Exactly. I'd be like, damn, Chris the homie really representing. And you know what? If you want to describe the Scruffcast to people, here's a perfect uh, a perfect thing to tell people. This was sent in by a follower. A couple of guys making fun of a world that's taking itself too seriously. And you know what? I think that's a great description. I think so, too. We should update our uh, iTunes description. I think on iTunes and Spotify and pretty much every podcast service you could ever think of, because that's where we are. <laughs> We're everywhere. It says, John and Dan get together each week to talk about current events, tell stories, and talk about sports, or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. And we never talked about sports, because like, two or three of the six listeners that devoutly follow us say, we don't like sports. So, like, so, oh, so man, we're like, oh, we can't lose fifty percent of them. our listeners. Yeah, yeah. just pandering. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we did pretty well this week, didn't we? Not too bad. We're only fun. fourteen weeks away from a hotly anticipated episode, episode sixty-four, the Nintendo sixty-four special. Ooh. Yep. Just going to be a whole episode talking about how much we love the Nintendo sixty-four. All right. So let's. Uh, give the people the question to ponder oh real quick i'm gonna throw hero of the week out kalon before the question to ponder yeah yeah. hero of the week kalon for not ratting you out with that pop can well like I things said could earlier, have been a lot different for both of you you could have been like a you know a life of crime after that who knows i could have been expelled you know in alternate universe i'm like a master like heist like you know i don't planner so. yeah oh yeah Dude, if I if, oh yeah oh yeah like my criminal like I think in an alternate ver- universe I'm not doing a podcast every Monday night. Why you don't like it? <laughs> what kidding. the heck? Now I know who my first target is for the heist. Oh no! <clears throat> All right. So question upon it for next week, which this was sent in to us by a listener. Yes, the, the same the listener, listener from the earlier email. Which uh, keep up <clears throat> the great work. Okay, if you could only play one video game or one game console for the rest of your life which video game or console would you choose so maybe we'll do both like a video game console and then maybe a game for that console or i guess it doesn't sure. have to be a game for that console it could be any game in general sure and i know there's listeners out there who like video games write in and tell us yeah 
at scruffcast I'm not, at gmail.com. I'm not big on video games, but I still have an answer for this. So even if you're not big on video games, let us know. Let us know yeah, maybe you've only played one. Or maybe you're just like, video games suck. Then write it and tell us, and then I'll probably make fun of you on the podcast. I will not. I will try to defend you guys. Yeah, you know what? That listener's correct. No! They're stupid. What the <laughs> heck? All right. Okay. I think that's the oh, end. What? We don't have a jabroni of the week this week? Uh, no, I don't think we need You know, one. I think now that we just kind of ramble, there are no jabronis. Because jabronis only make it to the podcast through news. Yeah. Right? If we're just rambling, we don't bring up jabronis. You know what? We'll bring up a jabroni if it's necessary to bring up a jabroni. Ooh, you know what? This I, week it was not. I like this because now it kind of gives jabroni of the week more weight. And same with hero of the week. Every week there might not be a hero. Yeah. Well, actually, by default, if we don't specify one, me and it's you us. are hero yeah, of the yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we um, don't give a hero of the week, then it's yeah. the automatic choice is us. Yeah. But if we bust out the rare jabroni of the week, Watch then you're going to go, ooh, ooh. That had some weight to it. That had some, had some oomph. <clears throat> I like that. Some yeah. oomph to it. I agree. All right. Okay. That's it. That and is we'll the do. end of the very special episode 50. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening, everybody, and we'll catch you next week. Oh, as I'm watching her go along, I'm thinking this, oh, damn, that bad thing. I can tell you're really good at distracting. Oh.